love being single. <laughs> I'm at peace with myself, really. Oh, God. <laughs> God, I hate men. I thought you were man's best friend. <laughs> oh, that's a dog, not a chicken. Sorry, Mike. Oh, shut up, you ham hock. <laughs> Peggy, read this note from Steve. It was waiting on my pillow when I came home from work. Dear Marcy. Dear Marcy, my sweet patootie. <laughs> the geek is leaving me. Oh, he doesn't mean that. He loves you. I guess you're right. He probably meant to say that when he wrote this. Frankly, I'm sick of you. You disgust me. <laughs> I had a full head of hair when I met you. <laughs> and I'm sure my nose grew during our marriage. <laughs> He says he's going to Yosemite to be a park ranger. <laughs> he's rejected materialism and all the evils brought about by the quest for money. Oh, and he's suing me for alimony. <laughs> now be strong, Mars. You don't need a man. I mean, what are they good for? They sit there like a lump. They pick, they burp, they let one fly. <laughs> like they just won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then once a month, they roll over on you on their way to the bathroom, and they call that loving. <laughs> not that you're not the best, baby. <laughs> you should feel lucky Steve left you. This is the dawn of a new age for you, Mars. You know, Peggy, you're right. I can do better than Steve. I have my health. Right. right. <laughs> I have my youth. Right. I've got my looks. <laughs> Thank God I have you for a support group. Well, it's Steve's loss. If he can't handle a strong, intelligent woman, then tough noogie's on him. <laughs> That's right, Mars. He'll come crawling back he to will. you. I think this is just going to blow over and you're going to be just fine. Go ahead. Just go go ahead. home. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go home and cut the crotches out of all of his pants. <laughs> and drag his ties through dog poo. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's just one less egg to fry. <laughs> I want to be alone. I'm afraid and weak and helpless. Mm, there, 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 there. Now, peel her off me, will you? <laughs> now, Marcy, it's gonna be all right. You can just stay here with us. I won't be in the way? Oh, of course not. <laughs> You're good people. <laughs> and good friends. <laughs> Marcy, you're more like family. Al, brush the fleas off Buck's blanket. We have a guest. $5,000. I can't believe it. We lost $5,000 a piece in 22 minutes. <laughs> what are we gonna do? So, gals, who wants to ride the Wild Elmo? <laughs> Oh. So, gals, who wants to ride the wild elbow? Smart move, Marcy. He could have bought us a couple of drinks. We could have taken him in the bathroom and rolled him. <laughs> Didn't your mother teach you anything? There has to be another way we can earn some money and still hang on to our pride. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna take a break, but we'll be back with more of our special tribute. Tony Orlando, genius or madman? <laughs> if I can make it, I'll make it.
for the little lady on the piano. <laughs> ah, come on, folks. Her husband just left her. How about it, huh? <laughs> hey, I know a pity clap when I hear one. <laughs> Shut up, Marcy. You're cooling off the crowd. And a great crowd it is. Because they've got... The look of a lynch mob? <laughs> no. Personality! Cause you got personality! 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 Don't you know I'm gonna be a player? So, uh, how many of you are from out of town, huh? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I just wanted you to know I'm holding up well after being deserted by my husband. What was his name? Oh, yes, Duty Face. <laughs> anyway, I know you're concerned, despite the fact that you haven't called or stopped by or even veered to the left when I was lying in your driveway. <laughs> well, Marcy, it's, it's not that we don't care. It's just that the McNuggets were getting cold. <laughs> oh, well. No one could expect you to care about a friend when you've got a greasy bag of fried vittles a coolin'. <laughs> but to answer the question, how's she doing now? The answer is, she's doing fine. The crisis is over. No more sitting at home for me. Uh-uh. I'm gonna go out there and grab me a pocket full of life. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna experience everything this bowl of cherries we call life has to offer. So watch out, world. Here comes Marcy Rhodes. <laughs> so what you doing? I'm trying to write a speech for the homecoming at the high school dance tomorrow night. <gasps> Can I go? I'm so alone, please. <laughs> Just some sort of human contact. A voice other than my own. Oh, please, God, throw a dog a bone. <laughs> oh, Al. My heart goes out to her. We should let Marcy come. She can buy gas and dinner afterwards. <laughs> oh, all right. Look, as long as I got you here, let me try a little something out on you. Now, in my speech, I'm using a visual aid to point out to the students the pitfalls in life. This is your brain. <laughs> this is your brain on marriage. <laughs> Any questions? Peggy? There I was, alone in my bedroom, in my nightgown. I had just put in a video cassette and was really ready to do my taxes <laughs> when I noticed an insect pressed against my bedroom window. Perhaps you might be able to identify it. <laughs> now, I want an apology. Relax, babe. You're a woman, I'm a man. If you didn't want me up there, you wouldn't have the ladder in the garage. Peggy! Bud, you must be punished. No school for you tomorrow, young man. <laughs> He'll learn. He'll learn. Well, I didn't mean to get him in this much trouble. Well, I guess I'll just go back and try to get in the mood to... Do my taxes. Oh, Marcy, wait a minute. We need your help. Kelly and I need some cooking tips. Yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble, Mrs. Rhodes. I have to cook jello. It's for home ec class. Home ec? I remember home ec. Oh, no. What door have we opened? It was my favorite class. I got an A++ on my final, lemon meringue pie. Oh, what an experience it was. My first, you know, kneading the dough till it was ready, and I was all sweaty. <laughs> then came my filling, stirring and stirring over a 
pulsing heat. <laughs> Don't bring it to a boil too fast, whatever you do. Slow, then fast. <laughs> Slow, then fast. <laughs> Till it starts to rise. <laughs> rise! Rise! <laughs> I've got to ask you a question. I am sorry, but I am not allowed to reveal tomorrow's weather until tomorrow. <laughs> to hell with the weather. Give me the poop on Palomino. Boy, there's one warm front I wouldn't mind settling over me for a few days. <laughs> well, actually, he's not the nice man that he appears to be. I mean, just today after the weather, when I, like America, wondered aloud where East Dakota was, <laughs> he went to the station manager and said, either the bimbo goes or I go. <laughs> well, it looks like things will start to get back to normal around here now. So I guess the next tour comes through here, you'll be selling my bath water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Al. Like I, like I really kept it for five years. <laughs> I'm sorry you lost your job, Kelly. My job? They canned him like a tuna. <laughs> After all, I am the one in the short skirt. <laughs> and you always will be, honey. <laughs> oh, your first job. How exciting. Working during your high school years. That's what I did. While everyone else was out having fun. But I was saving for a college education. And that's what it went for. My sister's college education. <laughs> huh. And of course, mother wouldn't dream of asking her to work, no because Sis was too pretty and too delicate to be hauling around slabs of meat. <laughs> now, she's a physicist, and I can stuff a sausage with one hand tied behind my back. <laughs> so everything worked out. I guess what I'm trying to say is, what happened to my life, my youth? Hey, do you mind here? <laughs> All I want is my fair share. To go to the prom, to work on a float, to have a date with a boy instead of a pork shoulder I call Vinny. <laughs> Peggy, do I deserve to be treated like this? I mean... <laughs> She needs a date worse than I do. It is your very essence I adore. Your beauty overwhelms me. <sighs> take me now. Yes, Charles, take her. And when you're done, take me. <sighs> I wonder what it feels like to be in someone's arms again. <laughs> Kelly, are you sure this is okay? Because last time your dad swung me around the room by my earring. <laughs> That's just because you touched his remote control. Don't worry. <laughs> get enough of this at home from my mom's friends. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Rhodes. That was the third guy this week that I was truly in love with that you messed up for me. <laughs> Kelly, sit down. See, I have this, well, this problem. I mean, it's really very complicated. You're a child. I probably shouldn't even be discussing it with you. I doubt you'd even understand. Horny as a toad, huh? Bingo. <laughs> attractive in a cheap, tawdry sort of way. <laughs> what do I have to do to attract a man? Well, the magazines say to try a new look. You know, a new hairdo, new lipstick, pry that jug out of your mouth. <laughs> well, 
And then there's this business with your wedding ring. I mean, a pretty woman can get away with it, but... I think I understand. I don't know. It's just so hard for me to take it off. It's like admitting to myself that my marriage is really over, which it obviously is and has been since Wienerneck left in the night like a balding thief. I should take it off, but I just can't. It's too sacred to me. Fine. Then we'll just get you a cat pole. <laughs> it's off. There. I've done it. Now I am truly free. Why did it take me so long to realize when a simpleton like you knew what I had to do? <laughs> I feel great. I feel renewed. I'm ready to fly. Oh, yep. From this point on, Marcy Rhodes soars like an eagle. I know what you're feeling for me, but uh, I think it might be healthier for the both of us to continue seeing other people. <laughs> I just hope I haven't ruined you for all other men. Oh, very nice. We have something special, and now you just toss me aside. <laughs> About. Nothing happened between us. Nothing could happen between us. Nothing ever will happen between us. So that's it, huh? Slam, bam, thank you, bud. <laughs> you used me. I used you. You were the one who said we should see other people. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt you, babe. <laughs> but sometimes the best way to hold on to something is to let it go. Oh, bull. You're just like all the rest. It's the age thing, isn't it? <laughs> Look, uh, let's not fight. It cheapens the memory. Even though I don't remember anything. But uh, we'll always have whatever happened. Which was nothing. Well, whatever gets you through the night. <laughs> Friends? Friends. Would it be all right if a friend bought another friend an ice cream cone? Sure. Why not? Oh, uh, by the way, you are on the pill. <laughs> oh, my God! Peggy, my mistake was looking for a man to love, when all I really needed was a man to hurt. I think I found him. He's perfect. <laughs> Are you going to have sex with him? Well, you heard her say she wants to hurt him. <laughs> anyway, this is not something I'd admit in front of a man. But I'm a little nervous about this sex thing. It's been a long time. Three months. <laughs> <laughs> I could do three months standing on my head. I'm just so used to Steve. It was his one strength. Well, that and show tune trivia. <laughs> but what if this guy's no good at all? Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> I'll tell you, the most important thing the first few times is to make them feel like they're doing a good job, even when they're not. <laughs> you know, I say things like, Oh, honey, I wasn't laughing at you. I was just thinking of a joke. <laughs> oh, or you, or you know when it's the real thing, it only has to take but a minute. <laughs> oh, and you should always keep a little cup of water by the side of the bed. Sort of sprinkle your brow. He'll really think you're into it. <laughs> I've gotten a few suffer babies from Al with that one. <laughs> oh, and then... <laughs> If you have a free hand, which I always do, you want to just sort of reach over to the clock and move it forward. It's a good confidence builder. And always practice moaning to cover up your yawns. You know, I guess what I'm saying is, you've just got to leave the man with something. <laughs> Peg, you forgot about your best secret move. You know, spitting Cracker Jacks while you shot instructions? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the passionate, remember tomorrow's garbage day at just that right moment. <laughs> See, I can't speak for all men, but that really turns me into a tiger. Hey, P.T. Barnum. 
So, you didn't think I could get a guy, huh? <laughs> well, I did. And he can't wait to get his hands on me. But I made him stop here first, so you could see what a real man looks like. Check him out. <laughs> The best thing about him is that he's a one-woman man. Then that must be her now. <laughs> Roland, get back here. When I buy a guy dinner, I expect something for it. <laughs> oh, God. You want to hear something funny? This car phone was lying by my house, and a policeman came over and asked me which car I thought it came from, the Mercedes or the Dodge. <laughs> he thought it could be yours. <laughs> shoe salesman with a car phone. <laughs> What's that? A woman cross town needs a seven triple E? <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> Who would have thought seeing an accident like that would be so much fun? You saw it? Yeah, I saw the whole thing from the car while I was saying goodnight to my date. Oh, wow, a non-Bundy is a witness. <laughs> They'll believe her. But Peg, do you think a judge will believe that she had a date? <laughs> well, you can see my evening's entertainment. What do you got going? I'm going dancing. Hey, since neither of us has a man, why don't you join me? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. You know, Peg, the good thing about it, if he's more than 20 minutes late, we get it for free. <laughs> you say? Al, would you mind if I went dancing with Marcy? Peg, I don't care if you marry her or move in with her. <laughs> Peg, did you remember to order extra cheese? You know, Peg, I love extra cheese. Yes, I know you do, honey. <laughs> Mars. I feel guilty having fun while Al's still alive. There is nothing wrong with going out every now and then to a classy place for some good, innocent fun. Oh, boys. Incoming. You know, I just don't understand it. <laughs> I mean, I know that Andy's crazy about me, and yet he hasn't made a move on me. He's been a total gentleman. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Well, who cares? You gotta see this guy's tattoo. It's a ship. You should see his sub. <laughs> got a date. A successful man, a handsome man. Sure, he was married, but he was gonna leave her. <laughs> he told me so. He told me his wife didn't understand him. Like, what's so hard to understand about a 40-year-old man who likes to be spanked for his sins? <laughs> anyway, we get back to my house, I open the door, and step into my living room pond. It seems that some idiot stuck a hose in the ground and left the water on all day. So I was wondering, have you seen an idiot with a hose anywhere? Hey, Marcy, you've given me a good idea. Bring your head over here by the hole. He'll think it's a cabbage, and then we'll have it. Look, Al. We all appreciate the fact that you're insane and that you need a relaxing hobby. But maybe this gardening thing is just a little too challenging at this point in your life. Have you tried Silly Putty on the comics page? <laughs> he has. He just couldn't get the egg open. <laughs> oh, well. I will be sending you a bill for the damage. And if you do not pay, I will sue you for everything you've got. And that includes my garbage cans. <laughs> oh, by the way,
Have you seen my new underwear? <laughs> Zebra stripe. <laughs> Looks just as good going as he does coming. <laughs> Marcy! <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what came over me. Hey, you gotta come up and check me out in my new underwear. Uh, you can bring Marcy, too. Can we, Peggy? Can we? <laughs> Excuse me, Al. I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend, Sam. Al, tell Sam what you do for a living. I... I sell shoes. Yes. <laughs> and how long have you been doing this? 20 years. <laughs> and finally, exactly how old are the socks you're wearing on your feet? Not quite as old as the hair on your legs. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Marsh. I have to talk to you. Uh, you know Kelly, don't you? Blonde, pretty, her boyfriend sometimes climb into my room by mistake. <laughs> yes, I believe I know the young lady. Well, if she had $246, she could find a, a nice place to live, couldn't she? $246? Well, with money like that to throw around, you gotta figure she's either living in a big gulp cup... <laughs> Or she's selling her body for Pez. <laughs> Why do you ask? Well, she moved out. Think I should go get her? Absolutely not. This is Kelly's first step towards independence. I mean, even if she's starving and freezing to death and setting a rat on fire for heat, she's still better <laughs> off. I mean, if you go and rescue her, you're only going to reinforce the traditional role of female subservience to men. And that's something I find personally odious. Let's see some knee, babe. <laughs> so don't worry. It may not be an easy row, but stop that, you scam. <laughs> but I think Kelly is perfectly capable of surviving on her own. What I'm trying to say here is, with a little luck, Kelly will turn out to be as strong and independent as the woman you see before you. Give me some lip, baby. I'm coming, pumpkin! 